actually uh, go through the four or five different ways we've played it in other churches. Yeah. So it's not just the song, it's really the way the song was played associated with either a region in Charleston yeah. or a denomination, mm -hmm. um, be it a Baptist registration or AME or I, I, I grew up holiness, um, so we had drums and everything in my church. Yeah. So we had um, several other layers of rhythms that were played, but in other churches these, these rhythms were clapped or stomped. Back in the day they, uh, they found the Lord and, and they had a song that they associated with that and became their song. And nobody else dared to sing their song. Mm -hmm. And when they would stand up and they would start singing it, you just knew this is what was gonna happen. You knew when to clap, you know, uh, you knew when to do the half clap, you knew when to do the double clap. Clay brought a bunch of songs, you know, to the band, um, just based off of him doing his research of coming down here and talking with folks, listening to other uh, recordings, field recordings, historical recordings. And so that just seemed like a good way to at least get the ball rolling, was to build a book yep. and, and bring it to everybody and let's try these tunes as if, like we would any jazz tune or, or otherwise, but then let all the, the experience kind of yeah, happen I mean, I mean, it's, and it's, transform them. And something. you can you can you can take that back to the way it works, you know, within different churches. The way that we sing it on John's Island might be different than the way they sing it two miles down the road, still on John's Island, yeah. which could be different slightly from the way they sing it on James Island, which is slightly different the way they sing it downtown, which is slightly different, <laughs> you know, corner to corner. You know, it just depends on where you are and who you know, what congregation it is, what village, you know, it actually is. This was a, this is a dream that I had, that we could play in the sister Yes. Yeah. I'm so happy about this show. And we've all seen, you know, kind of grew up walking by there during Spoilo seeing shows. Like yeah. We always talk about shows we've seen that were like just um, life changing. Yeah. So to be in that scene, arena is like, you know, it's like a dream come true slash like, you know, bucket list, whatever. responsibility to represent in a thoughtful way.
Can we do it one more time? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do one more, cause yeah.